The Canadian Pacific Railway passed through the small speck on the map known as Brooks as early as 1883. Throughout the years, trains saw various changes, and no train was complete without a caboose. Cabooses were manned railroad cars coupled at the end of a freight train. The cars provided shelter for crews who were needed for switching and shunting, overseeing equipment damage, cargo, and overheating axles. In earlier days, cabooses were flat cars modified with small cabins or box cars. Their design improved over the years, being purposely built with projections above or to the side. This allowed crews to observe the train from the shelter. Eventually, designs for these cabooses became quite complex. Long days on the road meant crews wouldn't go home until the job was done. The extended vision yellow caboose on museum grounds was designed to make work feel a little more like home. There was a cooking stove, so when the time for lunch came, a member dropped down to make a meal. The food was kept in a fridge, and when the digested food needed disposing of, the engine wouldn't halt. Toilets were on board to help crews continue with work. Also, if the night got late, bunks were available within the walls. With a shelter like this, crews never had to go home. The Model 434608 was built by the company Angus Shops in Montreal. This caboose, or as some refer it, a van, bared little resemblance to the red cabooses of the 30s, 40s, and 50s. It was an entire new model, built between 1972 and 1981, that weighed 30 tons, which was dispersed through 38 feet. At the time it operated, the CP Rail had approximately 870 cabooses. The CPR donated the yellow van in 1995 with the help of Jack Orr. From the tracks, the caboose had its wheels dismantled and hauled on a flatbed. When it arrived, a crane lifted the massive caboose onto a base of gravel and railway tracks that had just been installed. The train is situated at the museum today for guests to marvel at the moving home. In the back shed lies a small yellow CPR speeder car that was donated to the museum in 2000. Cars like these were used by the CPR to traverse the track quickly for maintenance and inspection work. This speeder still gets its fair share of track time today. On Canada Day, the speeder car runs up and down the track as children scream in excitement.